We have trees down, snapped power lines and damage to property. People all across our viewing area are clearing away the damage from yesterday's storm system. Good afternoon to you. I'm Jeff Hogan. And I'm Renee Chu. Thanks for joining us. We're getting a look at the damage in the triangle from our team of reporters and photojournalists on the ground and in the air. Brian Schrader is live in Sky 5 over Cary with a look at the damage at Coca Booth Amphitheater. Indeed, we are over that scene here, that dragon, that iconic dragon on the lake here at Coca Booth Amphitheater. You can see where the high winds damaged a big section of it. About half of it appears to be damaged there, part of it uh, in the water. And you can see the crews are working to get all of this cleared up. There are other uh, displays here at the North Carolina Chinese Lantern Festival that also apparently suffered a little damage uh, from that storm last night. Organizers did cancel the event last night and we are waiting to hear from them. I just got an email from the uh, organizer there with the town of Cary that she's working to find out if the festival is going to be open later tonight. Let's show you some other video that we got earlier this morning as Sky 5 took a look at some of the damage around the triangle. In Wendell, a homeowner says this 100-year-old tree fell into their home last night. This happened on Edgemont Road just south of US 64. The homeowner tells WREL that they are also dealing with a downed power line in the yard. Sky 5 also spotted some damage just north of the Beltline in Raleigh. A tree appears to have fallen on a car in a driveway, on a patchy drive. We spotted someone clearing some of that debris. Thankfully, no reports of injuries, and none of this damage appears to be tornado-related. Just straight-line winds as 2024 gets off to a stormy start. We're going to be checking out some other areas with some possible damage. Have another live report for you coming up at 1230.